So earlier I had built this wireless controller for my robots. It basically had um, an accelerometer, an Arduino, and a circular LED display. And when you tilt it in a certain direction, it lights up in that direction, like a little digital compass or something. And it worked pretty well, but I thought that if I needed to control something more complex or a robot with multiple functions or something, I needed something more sophisticated than this. So as an upgrade to this, I designed and built this controller, which is much bigger actually. It's about that much difference. So it's quite a bit larger, but it can do a lot more. Basically, you have a touchscreen TFT LCD display mounted on this custom PCB. Then you have an Arduino FIO, which is basically an AT Mega 328P running at 8 megahertz on 3.3 volts. Then you have um, an ADXL 345 accelerometer. You have an MCP 3008 IC which adds analog input to the Arduino via SBI. Since the LCD uses so many pins, I didn't have enough analog inputs for both joysticks because you have horizontal, vertical, and a button. So that adds inputs also for a light sensor and um, a voltage sensor for the battery. So you can tell when the battery's running low. And then along the bottom, you have a micro SD slot so you can record data on a micro SD card you have a micro or you have a mini USB port for charging the lithium ion battery on the bottom. You also have an on off switch and then you have two reset buttons. And there's also an unused footprint for a UMFPU IC, which basically does math, which I don't have, I didn't, I didn't get the, I didn't get the chip, but you can put that there for better uh, things you can display. And actually I'm gonna, move over here for better lighting but if we actually turn <coughs> this on uh there's some pretty cool code is running right now so basically this is a graph program that shows uh accelerometer values with the graph so on the bottom you have a color key green for x red for y blue for z you also have the current time. So if we get the board and let me focus here and we move it back and forth like this, you see that the green line is moving up and down because that's the x-axis. And then if we move the red or move the board the other way, the red line is moving up and down and then the z-axis is up and down like that. So it's in real time, it's pretty fast. And you can see that it's graphing pretty well and then when the graph reaches the end of the screen it just wraps around again and erases what was previously there and then if you also look closely you can see that there are little blue markers placed at each second so you have a sense of time when you're looking at the graph and then on the top right hand corner you have two sets of buttons an x scale and a y scale y scale controls the resolution of the graph on the y-axis, x-scale is x-axis. So basically x-scale controls how fast the graph moves along the screen and y-axis controls the, um, the amplitude of each graph. <coughs> so if we increase x-scale, let's say to, it's kind of hard to press through the camera, to four, you see that the graph moves along the screen much faster, so you have more resolution that way. It's kind of, I guess you could say it's zoomed in. And then if you increase Y scale up to seven, you see that it's much more pronounced and even small movements uh, show up much, much nicer. And it works pretty well. It's all in real time, it's pretty fast, all of that. And then also, um, because the memory on the Arduino is limited, there's only enough space for either the touchscreen code or 
the micro SD code. So if you want to record data on the micro SD card, you have to get rid of the buttons. But other than that, it works pretty well. So if you want the code, <coughs> sorry, just check the description below and I'll answer any questions. But that's it. It's pretty simple and it works pretty well. Thanks for watching.